the Milky Way, a galaxy of 100 billion stars. At its core, a supermassive black hole, home to every human being who ever lived. Originally from a small, unremarkable planet, their inquisitive nature saw them advance and spread throughout the galaxy, making their home among the stars. One such human in the Desisiate system cannot say the same. While his ancestors took to the stars with an adventurous spirit, he cannot even hold down a job. So this is the story of Ascorpius, a man whose fates are about to be changed forever. But who can say if it will be for the better? Gears, thanks, mate. Thanks so much. I don't know what I'd do without you. Like, I've, Jane won't let me fly anything, and uh, I can't rent anything anymore. The rental company won't let me fly anything. So this is a real lifesaver, mate. Thank you so much. Well, look, I'm glad to help, but please, just be careful. You know, uh, uh, this is more than my pride and joy. Oh, I'll look after it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've just got to get there and back again. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to help. Please look after it. Uh, good luck with the job interview. I really hope you get it. Uh, but, uh, oh, right, hmm? one thing. You see that button there? Uh, this one? Yeah, that one. It's just a button. Yeah. Yeah, don't press it. That button? Yeah, that button. Don't press it ever. Not a, what if I need to? No, you you, you won't need to. It's the boost button. No, it, look, just don't press it. Please, trust me on this. Uh, you don't want to press it. You won't like it. Okay, I, I won't press that button. I, I, I won't press it. I, you promise? Yes, I, I promise I won't press that button. Promise. Okay. okay. What about in an emergency? No, never. You never need that. Okay. All right. I'll, not even in an emergency. I won't even press it. Not in even in an emergency. You won't need it. Okay. What about the other buttons? Everything else. Fine. You know, just as normal. Not that button. Okay. So all the other buttons are fine. I don't need to, it's, There's nothing. It's, right. So I'm just going to go for my job interview. I'm not going to press that button. And I'm going to get the job. Everyone's going to be happy. And Jane will get off my back. This, this is all going to work. This is all going it to work. All be, it will all be fun. Oh, thank you so much, Giz. This means Look, so much. You're very welcome. I'm happy right. to help. And good luck. What if I lean on the button? Accidentally. No. Okay, right. Yeah, not going to press it. Not going to press the button. The, the button, it's, 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 the ship doesn't even have that button. doesn't even have a button. No. It's fine. Right. If you do press that button, I will find out about it, and I will never lend you a ship ever again. Right. Okay. All right, I'm definitely not going to press that button then. Okay, good. Okay. All right, uh, uh going to go. I'm going I'm to go then. Okay, good luck. All right, thanks, mate. No problem. Thanks. Take care. Right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. What's wrong with this button? It's just a button. This is nice. Giz really looks after his ships. That's uh, probably a good thing. 
Okay, okay, where are we? Uh, Bella Cabunda, Morgan Orbital. Okay, that shouldn't take me too long. Yeah, I've got to leave early. Safety first. Early bird catches the worm. Mm, poor worm. Uh, yes, that's me. Ah, excellent. This is Jaden Tainer of Smyers Delivery Services. You have an interview with us this afternoon. Ah, uh, yes, at uh, 2 p.m., is that correct? Uh, yes. However, a candidate has dropped out and an earlier slot has become free. Would you be able to get to us in, say, 15 minutes? It'd really help your chances. Show willing, etc. Oh, 15 minutes? Uh, I'm already on my way. So, yeah, sure, sure, I can be there in 15 minutes. Excellent. We look forward to seeing you in person. The CEO is quite old-fashioned. He likes to meet face-to-face. -face. Something about deep fakes. Ah, using AI to project a fake persona over the comms. Mm. Oh, no, no, just fake people. Down to their core, we can't stand them. Likes to weed them out by looking them squarely in the eye intensely. Ah, right. Well. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing him face-to-face. -face. You are? Weird. Anyway, we'll prepare a landing bay for you. Don't be late. Mr. Quentin doesn't like it when people are late. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Yep, bye. That's strange. I need this job though, let's see. Okay, Balakabunda, there you are. Ah, it's not too far, just a couple of jumps. Here. So, you want to get yourself a job? Sounds like somebody's sick of the freelance grind. That's okay, Commander, because Bradford's going to tell you some tips on how to ace that corporate interview. Uh, check this out. Uh, step one is that you can't swear. I know that's really shitty, but if you call your prospective boss a chojin or a taint face, uh, it's going to raise some questions that aren't about your resume. Uh, and same goes for violence. You shouldn't go into an interview and KWS scan the boss and murder him. Uh, unless his bounty is worth more than the job, then, then it would be okay. Okay, um, step two is that you need to be super smart and show them that you're good at the job. So put on some glasses. And I know you say Bradford, only losers wear glasses, but only losers apply for jobs anyway, so you might as well dress the part. Uh, and step three is the most important. You gotta show up on time. If you're late for the interview, then it's as bad as loitering on a station and you deserve death. Don't be late, okay? Yeah. Anyway, after you follow these tips, I'm sure you'll get that job. Write to Bradford in the comments and let him know if you got the job. And um, after looking at the uh, any people that are experienced in running alien uh, rebellions, because, uh, you know, Bradford needs some money. Okay, bye! I'm on my way. Good, because Mr. Quentin wants you to be here in five minutes. Five? I thought I had 15. I was already cutting it close. Shall I tell Mr. Quentin you'll be letting him down? He really doesn't like people letting him down. Especially when they promised that they'd be here. Uh, no, no I, I don't want to let him down, no, but I can only fly so fast. Don't you have an SCO drive? Every ship has an SCO drive these days. Super cruise speed limits are so 3310. Okay, I'll, I'll try my best. We are a delivery company, Mr. Scorpius. Our customers expect miracles, so so do we. Don't be late. Oh crap, five minutes? Shit. Oh shit, it's 32,000 light seconds away. I'll never get there in time. Oh damn it. I need this job. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? SCO drive. What's an SCO drive? Oh, I wonder if that's what Giz was talking about. Don't press the button. Uh, Don't press it. 
You promise? I can't. Don't be late. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Don't press it ever. Oh, I need this job. Not even in an emergency. Good luck with the job interview. I really hope you get it. I'm so sorry, Giz. No. Jesus Christ! Whoa! If you do press that button, I will find out about it and I will find out about you. Paperwork on that.
saw them, the spider ran down the landing leg and tried to get into the cargo crates. The little bugger had a body the size of a fist, but it couldn't quite make it. Poor thing didn't realise it was still in a zero-g environment. So there it was, floating there, with its legs flapping around. So I just gave it a little flick. Little sod bit me, and I ended up flinging it into one of the vents. I never saw it again. You'd think that space would kill him off, but no. Every ship has a colony of spiders. Gives me the willies. There, that's my ship. How the hell did it get here? Ah, uh, aliens. I don't think it was aliens. How long did it take for them to put alien technology into our frameshift drives, eh? Seems a little too convenient that we fight off the Thargoids, they bring in their monster titans to wipe us out, and suddenly, after we kill one, we can travel at ungodly speeds. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was... They knew about it the whole time. They're colluding with the aliens. There's no way they were able to put this kit together so fast and fully test it. What kit? What kit? You living under a rock or something? The SEO drives. The reason that your ship is all the way out here. The untested alien technology in the SEO drive. It does strange things. We're messing with forces in the universe we weren't supposed to meddle with. I don't think that's it. Sure it is. It's a galactic conspiracy with the governments colluding with aliens and slowly feeding us advanced technology so we can finally find a missing place. A missing place? Not Raxla. Yeah, Raxla. I bet your friend here will fly in towards his destination and then boom, he gets pulled towards Raxla and spat out here. That's just ridiculous. Oh, you think so? Can you explain your friend's situation in any other way? Well, it's not Raxla, and it's not some alien influence technology. You'll see. All of this stuff is all pointing to Raxla. Not for this ship. My ship. It doesn't have an SEO drive. Then how did your ship end up here, eh? Oh, I think the same old boring way people normally do. He got stoned and flew here. I told him not to press the button. The boost button for the SEO drive? No. The blast button for my onion head dispenser. I told you, I don't have an SEO drive. Scorb has just been tripping balls for the last couple of days. Scorb, Scorb, come in. Are you alive? Oh, the lights. So many pretty lights. Oh. Yep, onion head. Come on, Scorb, let's get you home. Hey, Giz. Hey, oh, did I get the job? I don't think so, Scorb. Let's go, come on. Oh no. I went to Raxler. I think it was Raxler. I think. It was very strange. I hope you like the show If you did, there's a fantastic way To let the people know 
Press the lovely buttons, press the like and subscribe. Seriously, it's what keeps this show alive. My heartfelt thanks go out to all my Patreon supporters. Your consistent help and patient love constantly floors us. There have been times when I've not done my part, but you keep me going with your words and support. Atar Hari, Drake, Epaphus, James. Onion head, like and subscribe.